everyone, this is Mrs. Violence here at day two at MLG Columbus 2012, and I got my buddy Richie Hines. How are you doing, man? Doing great. We just uh, came off a win against Fair Ripon, so I'm feeling pretty good right now. Bummer for me. I'm a big straight fan, but the series was awesome. It was a good 3-0. Now, how was your offseason? I hear you had a little bit of a team change. Yeah, it was a little tough going from Dynasty because we had won an event together, but we just felt like the change was needed. So we went from Dynasty, now we formed Ambush, me, Cloud, Form on ABG. And so far, it's looking pretty good because we're doing pretty good. How was the journey going from, you know, full screen, your natural full screener, to split screen and on new monitors? I actually hadn't played split screen in four years, so that was an adventure in itself. And then going back to these new monitors, full screen is just a bunch of craziness. But you're a pro player, you learn to adapt. No, you absolutely have to adapt. And I mean, I was watching the game, the, the first series. How did you guys feel about just the confidence coming out of winning just straight up, like out of the door? You guys pretty did pretty well first game. Yeah, we haven't dropped a game yet, actually. So we're feeling really haven't dropped a game yet. Wow. Yeah, and especially to beat a great team like Straight Ripon 3-0, it's like a huge confidence builder going into tomorrow. OK, now game three was King of the Hill, Battle Canyon. Did you think that was a smart move on Straight or a bad, bad move, even though you won? Well, when we practice against them online, one of our stronger game types is Nexus. And I think that's one of their weaker game types also. So, I mean, I don't think Battle Cannon is one of their best, but might as well go against Nexus. I did watch them at the TLN LAN, and they did start improving on their King of the Hills. They started picking up the strategy. And yeah, Nexus was their weakest. But thank God they picked Battle Canyon, where they thought they might have had a better you know, intact on you guys. But clearly, it didn't come out there. It was a close game, though. Very close game. You had a couple really good snipes, man. What was going through your head as you were hearing the crowd? Because it is so loud here at MLG. Yeah, it's crazy. It hasn't been this loud since like 2009 or 2010. It's really awesome. So many people showed up. And just to like, play in front of that many people again, it's like, it's like reliving the Halo 3 days. It's really awesome. It is. Now, Halo. you just mentioned Halo 3. Now, are, how excited are you for Halo 4? Uh, I've seen some of the previous 4. It looks like it's going to be an amazing game. 343 knows what they're doing. I'm pretty pumped. Do you think it's going to have an impact on the circuit? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, Halo is where MLG came from. I'm, I'm sure it's at least going to get a chance. It's up to us. To... I, I think it is up to us. Yeah, it's definitely up to us. I, we'll pull through, though. That's awesome, man. Well, good luck. Thank you so much for the interview, and good luck to you and your team.